Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meyer here with a video on the rules and guidelines of fourth species counterpoint. Let's get started. What is fourth species? Fourth species counterpoint is a one-to-one -one counterpoint, except that it is offset with a syncopation. A syncopation in counterpoint is when notes are shifted off of the beat. Observe in the example below and notice how most of the note attacks are on the offbeat and are held over until the next offbeat attack. Also observe that there are a few places where the syncopation does not occur and the counterpoint breaks into second species. These breaks are to facilitate the flow of the line and avoid errors and are commonly found in fourth species. Here is what fourth species sounds like. The distinctive mark of fourth species is that there is a suspension, often associated with the syncopation. A suspension is when dissonances are approached by a tie and resolved down by a step. This is also the most important rule of fourth species counterpoint writing. Observe how the dissonances, here are sevenths, on the downbeat and are approached by a tie and resolved downward by a step continuing a chain of suspensions, all resolving down by a step. Consonances are permitted without restriction in fourth species. This means if you cannot create a suspension, you can tie the note into a consonant change of harmony with no problems. The dissonances that do occur should not occur on the offbeat, unless they are part of a second species break. Looking at the example below, you can see that all of the offbeats here are consonant harmonies. These consonant harmonies are part of the suspension resolution and help to set up the next suspension. Another guideline is to use unisons with restraint. More than two unisons can make a counterpoint tedious. The goal of fourth species is to create a pattern of tied over dissonances and too many unisons can interrupt that pattern. Finally, the added voice must begin with a half rest to offset the one-to-one -one counterpoint, creating the syncopation. In the harmony, imperfect consonances are preferred, which results in three main types of suspensions, which resolve to imperfect consonances. The first two types occur when the suspension is in the upper voice. In the example to the right, you can see both a 4-3 and 7-6 suspension. One other suspension is called a 9-8 suspension, but must be used with restraint because its resolution is an octave or a unison, which also must be used with restraint. The third type of suspension is a 2-3 suspension. This suspension occurs when the bass line resolves down to a third, with the top voice staying constant. Writing fourth species counterpoint in the bass is quite difficult because there's only one suspension type. You might discuss this type of counterpoint writing more in class. Let's expand a little more on the rules of voice leading in fourth species. It's important to avoid successive 9-8 suspensions, to avoid the overuse of unisons in the harmony. To achieve this, it's best to avoid using more than one 9-8 suspension in an exercise. A short break into second species in the added voice is acceptable to avoid errors and redundancy. Uh, if you do this, you must follow the rules and guidelines of second species. Now let's evaluate this fourth species counterpoint for errors. Remember to check the added line for flow, analyze the harmonies, and make sure that the dissonances are treated properly when they do occur. Here's what the example sounds like.
pause the video and take your time finding these errors. Let's begin with the error in the top line. The interval from D sharp to F sharp is greater than an octave, which is not permitted, and is going to cause us problems later on. Now let's check out the harmonies. Here are the harmonies you should have gotten. Uh, analyzing the harmonies allows us to see if there are any dissonances on the offbeats and what types of suspensions there are. In fact, this perfect fourth at the beginning of the example falls on the offbeat, which is not permitted. Looking at the suspension types, we can see that the leap in the upper voice has resulted in a suspension not resolving down by step. Another evaluation of the suspensions finds that there are three successive 9-8 suspensions in a row, which is also not permitted. This error and the unresolved suspension could have been avoided if there were a few carefully placed second species breaks. Lastly, there is a direct octave at the end of the exercise because the top voice does not approach the octave by step. Listen again to the exercise with these errors in mind to train your ear to hear these types of errors. In this video, we learned that fourth species counterpoint is a one-to-one -one counterpoint, which is offset by a syncopation. A suspension associated with the syncopation is constructed carefully by approaching it with a tie and resolving down by a step. The new harmony and voice leading rules that have been added include the treatment of dissonances, the avoidance of unisons and 9-8 suspensions, and the crossover into second species if necessary. We also learned about three suspension types that are 4-3 and 7-6 suspensions in the upper voice and the 2-3 suspension in the bass voice. That's all for now. Happy counterpointing!